quiet. I'm going to move this so everyone can hear me. I've got a quiet voice. Um, so yeah, so I'm um, Karen Buckley and I'm the convener of the People's Assembly in Manchester. Um, I'm just going to go through the depressing bit first, just a couple of minutes. So after 12 years of the Tories, we've got class war. It, there's no other two ways about it, it's class war against us. Um, and this has been going on for 12 years. Really, it's a transfer of wealth from the, you know, from us, the, you know, taxpayers, to the wealthy. You know, there's a cost of living crisis because of it all. We've got austerity that is now on steroids and is going to become more on steroids as we go on. We've got a huge inequality that's growing all the time. Unaffordable housing, privatisation, outsourcing, huge profiteering from these big companies, a welfare state that's in crisis, an NHS that's in crisis. I work for the NHS and really is collapsing under the pressure. We've got climate crisis and we've got an undermining of our democratic rights and union rights and millions who are not going to be able to afford their energy bills this winter and are literally going to freeze. Because like um, Ian's just said, they may not go in as much as we thought they would, but they've still gone up hugely since last year. Um, so anyway, so this is really grim and it's going to, you know, so it can de demoralise us and make us feel depressed and there's nothing we can do, but we can. We must really remember that people after World War II rebuilt the whole of the country and built a magnificent welfare state. Um, so that was out of, the, out of the ashes, it was out of the huge debt that we had. You know, and, and at the time we had strong unions, we had decent jobs. There was a chance of a better life for working class people. And I was one of those working class kids who grew up at the tail end of all that. And so I was really lucky that I had, um, you know, we had, you know, nationalised services. I remember public transport was cheap. When I wanted to go to, back into education as a mature student, I got free education. We got decent jobs. My first job was a really decent job for an insurance company. And that was the same as a lot of jobs were at the time. You got things like luncheon vouchers. You had things like mortgage subsidies, flexible working, decent hours, and all the things now that young people I'm seeing I just think is not normal, they don't get at all. So we need to build that back again. You know, we don't want to have the way it is now. Like I can see with housing, my daughter thinks there's no, there's no point now in even trying because there's not, she'll never be able to afford her own house. There's not going to be a planet that's going to last. And so we really need to come back and start fighting for this. And it was no accident that we got that in the first place because working class people built the movements and the unions that achieved all those things that we had after that post-war consensus that was so good and we need back again. So, you know, so as we, um, you know, so they organised politically on the ground and they fought for everything that we achieved. It wasn't given to us. Nothing is ever given to us. We have to organise politically. But I think we're starting to do that again. You know, as we've seen, Mick Lynch has said, the working class are back. We refuse to be meek. We refuse to be humble. And we refuse to be poor anymore. But we've got to remember... <laughs> seen is that wonderful resurgence and what we've got to do because the, the right wing the ruling class is vicious and ruthless and they don't concede anything without a fight so it's crucial that we all come together to build on this so get involved and support your unions and movements let's coordinate the strikes and so they're not just isolated strikes let's get to the streets and join the protests and demonstrations let's make clear what our demands are, are and really fight back Importantly, also, we also need maximum unity across the movements, across the unions. So, so we've got to remember that the right wing will do all they can to divide and rule us. We can't let them. Our power is when we come together, en masse, like we've seen here today, and when we get organised and we fight for what we agree on, because there's lots of things we agree on. So get down to pickets, support those struggling in your communities and get to the demonstrations. And I just want to say that the People's Assembly is actually organising two big demonstrations. There's one tomorrow in Birmingham, um, Mick Lynch, 
the magnificent Mick Lynch is speaking at that tomorrow. So if you can get there, do come to that. Um, and then we've got another big demonstration on the 5th of November. We want to make that huge and bring everyone together, all the unions, all the movements, everyone. The Hip Assembly is backed by all the major unions and movements, but I hope to see all you lot coming as well. There is a free, uh, there is, well, a very cheap or free transport from Manchester. So come along to that. So solidarity, everyone. We all matter. Okay, thank you. Join us.